There we go. I guess this is the way I want to go. Why didn't he didn't grab on? Oh my god. I wanted him to grab onto the little area that's sticking out right there and he didn't. He didn't again! What the heck? I don't know why he's not grabbing on, but screw it, we'll go here. Jesus. Grenade launcher dead. Where's these other guys at? There he is. Here you go, I gotta heal. I got no ow, I got no ammo. I can't There he's dead. Give me that gun. Who next? I don't even know. Up, oh, I guess. Just gotta go up. It's over here. Grenades. Up. Oh. There we go. So it had to be done. There we go. Now we're gonna cross. Is that a pistol? Ooh, barrack. I think that's the one shot. Yeah, one shot pistol. Whoosh. Whoosh. Jump, jump, and we're up here. Now, from here, we got a hook, and we're gonna go. Ooh. Alrighty. Coming along nicely, coming along okay. nicely. Where to? Let's climb here. Yes, sir. Another journal entry. What's this? Ooh, what we got here? To whoever finds this note, know that Jonathan Burns, Earth's leader and financer of our expedition has murdered me and others for want of Avery's treasure. He worked the crew to the point of exhaustion, promising them glory but bringing them illness and starvation. He bound a man to a mast and left him to die. And when I witnessed the bastard push our navigator to his doom for daring to speak his mind, what? And then, I said, and when? That's what I read it as. He found me making preparations to leave for home and confronted me. I brand brandished my pistol and informed him I was returning to England where I would inform the world of his deeds. And when I turned away, the black guard shot me in the back and fled into the jungle. I returned fire, but I am not certain if the bullets hit their mark. My time grows short and my hand weak. In the absence of earthbound justice, I beseech you, pray to God above that Burns pays for his treachery. Signed, Walter Hayes, first mate of the Suffolk, March 23rd, 1808. Wow, that is pretty dark. 
Seems like Burns' crew had about as much luck as me with this treasure. Yeah, except they're all dead and you're alive. No, no, no. Holy shit. Come on, Nate, climb. Hey, Sammy boy, I thought you were dead for another 15 years, bud. I nearly shot your head off. Sam, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. It's good to see you're alive, little brother. Come on, we got a treasure to find. Hold up, man, I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. Yeah, we've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're gonna do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the battalion. Have you even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony? Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? Look, can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, 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 I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? How about what I put on the line, okay? The last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. Here's what you're looking for, Nate. Holy crap. You had no idea, but it was standing right there behind Sam. You still want to go home? Let's just see what else we can find. So there's that, that sigil. So now we gotta find some other stuffs. Me and Sam, back at it again. There's some lemurs. I think those were lemurs. What is that? I'll be damned. Off to a good start. Let's yeah, just hope the rest of it is a buried under centuries of dirt and rocks. What's the voice acting so low right here? Nathan, it's this way. Let's go then, big bro. Oh look, right there, it's a building. Sam, up here. We're coming. Oops, Gadoozy. Um where do I go? Go across here? Nope. Can I jump? Oh wait, maybe I just need to go inside. Well, no one's home. This place has seen better days, huh? Yeah, the roof could use some work. There we go. Sam, this way. Ah, yeah, that's not happening. Hmm. Hey, Nate, I think there's a way through here. Through here. It's this way. Okie dokie, artichokey. <laughs> Rusty. Where to from here? Go back down. Yep, back down would be the way to go. All this crawling is a good workout for my quads. Quad! Yeah, you won't turn out like Kevin Ash. Or Triple H. 
Or Vince McMahon. With torn quads. Wait, where do I go from here? Um, right there? Nope. Do I go down here? Yeah. This is no straw hut. Yeah. Come on. Some honest to God masonry in here. Well, where does masons come from? I mean, your average ship might have some good carpenters among them and coopers, but not masons. Ugh. Feels good to stretch out again. Yeah, you said it. Yeah, I see that. Hey, there's a way out. Uh, it's too high, even for a boost. Let's, uh, let's find something to stand on. I found something already, bud. I just gotta get to it. There's a crate. I got an idea. Here we go. Heads up! All right, we're in business. Holy shit. You're gonna wanna see this. What am I gonna wanna see, bud? Oh. There's your city, Nate. There it is. I found it, bud. What do you see? No houses. Wide street. Clearly a commercial district of some kind. Yes. Thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you see? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? I really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia. Libertalia. Lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel. Only 300? And? And, and his. Did you say Samuel brother, Drake? Slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the ride. You know, I always think you'd make something of yourself one day. Yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, you should just. <laughs> enjoy the moment. Well, I'm enjoying it. How about that building right over there? Oh, you mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah, I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. Let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, I'm speechless. Holy goddamn shit, Nathan! If that's your idea of speechless? God, how long do you think it took them to build this place? Years. Decades, even. How the hell did they keep it a secret all that time? Hey, Sam, check it out. It's like a pirate code of conduct. Sit up here. The point of this place was not having rules. Well, even pirate ships had their own rules. It's in here. Hmm. It's up here, a door. Locked, of course. About this. Hey, it looks like there's a path or something through there. Path through here. Is there somewhere I can climb? Huh. Horse bones. They're still tied up. Like, like they were abandoned. Why? I don't know. Maybe people left in a hurry. Or they were taken away. Yeah, something isn't kosher here. So what do you think happened here, huh? Oh no, Sam. What do you mean? Uh, you know, all good things must come to an end, right? I mean, I joke about cursed pirate treasure, but after hearing all your stories, 
Well, the simplest explanation is usually the correct one. Uh, usually. 